right, college kids, picture this. It's 7 a.m. My hair is still wet from the 30-second shower I just took. All my jeans are dirty, and I'm scrambling to finish an assignment due at 8 o'clock for my first class of the day. This was my daily routine my freshman year of college. I had no concept of time management whatsoever, and because of that, I really struggled. So, I would become so frustrated and exhausted by the end of the week, I would have had it, and I became really discouraged. So, naturally, my grades slipped. So after a lot of trial and error and a ton of practice, I managed to get together a routine that fit my lifestyle and helped me get through my first year of school. First tip is your physical health. It is so important that your body is functioning properly so your mental health can be just as good. According to research done at the Mayo Clinic, stress can wreak havoc on your body if it's not controlled. It weakens your immune system, it makes you more susceptible to viruses, it can take a toll on your weight and your appearance. So, in order to control that, your body needs proper sleep and proper nutrients in order to function. I know it's very easy to stay up all night and cram for tests to function on two hours the next day, but it's going to catch up with you. Not to mention, swinging by McDonald's after class every day because you've got to go home to study is not healthy. We do this without consciously understanding what we're putting into our body and what effect it will have. So, think about what you eat, try and get all the nutrients you possibly can, and get plenty of sleep. Another favorite for college kids is to function on caffeine. Caffeine, a Red Bull, might get you through a test, but it's not going to help you all day. You have to stay hydrated because it's hard enough to cram for a trig exam or a microbiology test on top of a caffeine headache. You don't need the extra stress. So drink plenty of water, try and eat healthy, and get in a little bit of exercise if you can. Exercise is the best way to blow off steam. If you feel like you're too overwhelmed, take a step back, take a breath, maybe take a jog around the neighborhood or hit the gym. After you get done with your workout, you'll feel much more calm, collected, and you can get back to your studies. The next tip is to stay organized. Get a calendar. Maybe a small one to put in your pocket, or a huge one to go on your fridge, or even a planner to put in your backpack. That way, you can write down tests, assignments, any meetings you have to go to, and you are constantly reminded of them day after day. That way, these dates are put in your mind, and you're not blindsided and scrambling to finish them. This takes off stress and will help you a lot in the long run. The next step is to set goals. Start with a big goal, something you really want to work towards, and then break that down into smaller goals. These smaller goals serve as stepping stones to that bigger goal. When you accomplish one goal, you get a confidence boost. You feel good, you see that there is light at the end of the tunnel, and you continue to stay motivated and not get burned out on your main goal. It's proven by an article written on kidshealth.org that starting with specific goals is easiest to stay motivated and focus on your main goal. Next is Smart Tips. Smart Tips, Tips was a tool designed by the University of Chicago as a tool to help students stay motivated and focused. So, when life gets too crazy and you just can't function anymore, turn to these. Start with being specific. Don't overwhelm yourself telling yourself you have to finish these four assignments when you get home. Start by being more specific about what you want to accomplish with this assignment. Maybe read the first four chapters of the book that you need to and get a thought for class tomorrow. Or read the chapter and do the first four problems. That way, it gives you sort of goal to work for. Make it measurable. Like I said before, it's specific. Break it into measurements. Don't just say a chapter or two chapters. How many pages are you going to read? And what are you going to accomplish with what you've read? Make your goals attainable. Don't try and cram so much into such little time. Make it challenging to where if you stay on track you can achieve it, but not to where it's, un it's unbelievable. You can't do that. Make it realistic. Your goals have to be attainable. They have to be high enough to where you stay motivated to accomplish them, but if you overwhelm yourself, they're going to be un you're not going to be able to accomplish them. So make them realistic, but challenging. Do everything in a timely manner. Stay on track. Set time limits for what you're going to do. Don't spend four hours on an assignment that only takes one. 
You're just wasting time and you're stressing. Break it into increments and stay on that track. Next is to take a break. Everybody needs a break. Whether it's the hobbies you like to do or any activities you've been involved in. You may have to shorten the amount of time you spend on those, but in the long run, you'll still get your break and you'll save time as well. Invigorate yourself, meaning get some sort of physical activity in there. It is very important that you do this. It keeps up your physical health, not to mention your mental health. You've got to blow off steam at some point in time. So, get a little bit of jogging in, even though I know it sounds impossible with the kind of schedule you keep, but it will help out in the long run. Plan your study space. Pick a place, your apartment, the library, maybe the park, somewhere where you can go to work, study, get your homework done, maybe, and get away from work, get away from home life, get away from school, quiet, and be focused. Finally, set your priorities. It's going to take a lot of time to get these down, but when you do, the rest of college and life will be a breeze. You may have to reevaluate them from time to time because they are going to change. So keep on top of that and to keep them in line. The last tip is to incorporate leisure time. We've stressed this so much in, this, in the past few minutes, but it's very important. You have to take time to relax to give your brain a break, whether it's hanging out at home, watching TV, maybe doing an exercise, a couple activities you really like, or just hanging with friends. You have to incorporate that time. Otherwise, you will get burned out and you will learn to hate school. So, follow these tips when life gets too crazy and maybe you might enjoy your first few years of school.